Hi, I'm Emiliano Martinez Luque and welcome to Handsome Microservices with Go. I'll introduce myself. Uh, I'm Emiliano Martinez Luque. I'm a software engineer with over 20 years of experience developing web applications. I have worked in all sorts of projects from very small bootstrap startups to huge Nasdaq 100 companies. During all of these years, I have tried to learn as much as I could about how the system and have worked on were architected and how they evolved over time to meet new requirements. I have drawn on the experience that I have acquired during all of these years to prepare the course. So the course overview. The course is a complete resource that covers two different aspects. One, uh, we look at everything that is needed to build secure, scalable, and performant microservices in Go. And the other aspect we will be covering in the course is, it is also a complete introduction to tested microservices architectures and patterns. The course has 10 sections. Uh, let's look at what we will learn in each section. On section one, uh, building our first microservice. The purpose of this section is explaining what microservices are, how a microservices architecture differs from a monolithic application, and what problems does a microservices architecture address. We will also explain HTTP and REST basics, and we will be working on an example of building a web service with Go's standard library HTTP package, and also using a database for doing basic crude operations. Section two is Go's HTTP package in detail. Here we will look at requests and responses, middlewares, the context package, and also testing HTTP handlers. On section three, we'll be looking at response formats. It's, uh, we will be looking at encoding and decoding JSON and XML, and also uh, working with protocol buffers and gRPC. Section four uh, deals with security and authentication. Here we will be looking at how to uh, serve our, our microservices through, through TLS, through HTTPS, by using TLS. We will also be looking at JSON Web Talk, Accent Tokens and JSON Web Tokens, and also general security best practices. In section five, we will be looking at performance. We will be looking at how to load test our microservice using Apache Chain Meter, also uh, profiling it with PProf and GoTorch. And we will look at different strategies for scaling such as using an in-memory cache for scaling reads or, or doing load, bal load balancing with Nginx. Continuing with our course, in section 6, we will look at deployment with Docker. Here we will look at best strategy for how to deploy your microservices with Docker. We will also look at Docker networking and Docker data management, and also Docker Compose, and then how to monitor our containers with Prometheus. And we'll also do a short introduction to service discovery. In section seven, we will be looking at application architecture. Here we will look at clean architecture patterns that we can apply to our goals repository. Here we will be looking uh, both at how to organize code within one service in one repository, and also how to work with various services together. We will be looking at the API gateway pattern, and middle ends, and other architectural patterns. In section L8, we will do a simple introduction to WorldKit with a sample application. In section 9, we will be looking at resilience patterns like the circuit breakers and rate limiters. And we'll also be looking at basic concepts on high availability. And in section 10, we will be discussing different strategies for migrating uh, from a monolith to a microservices architecture. And also, we we'll do, will do a short introduction to the Saga pattern for distributed transactions. The prerequisites for the course is a basic understanding of Go. You need to know Go, at least the basics of the language to, to do the course. And the other thing is a basic understanding of SQL, because we're using uh, lots of databases in our microservices as, as a data store. Another thing that's important is the course is really practical, so almost all of what we will discuss throughout the videos has working examples. And there is a GitHub repository that has all of the examples of the course. There's also information on how to run examples, links to learn more, etc. The address is this one. And I'll show you the course repository. So you can see there are examples for all of the all of the sections of the course. And here you, you can see what we will see in every in every section. So that's it for the course overview. Uh, we can now get it started.